Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make a response video and I was gonna make a response video to Dr. Ozzy's video that was up about a week ago that talks about the health guru who eats around 5,000 calories in one meal and says he's healthy. And this is Blake Horton, which I've known about for a very, very long time since I got on my one meal a day journey over eight months ago now. And yeah, he eats insane amounts of calories within one sitting and has a very low body fat percentage and really good muscle development. But instead of making a response video to Dr. Ozzy's video, I'm actually gonna be responding to Fledge Fitness's response video to Dr. Ozzy's response video that I just mentioned. And if you don't know who Fledge Fitness is, he's a very well-known YouTuber that makes fitness-based videos, a lot of intermittent fasting videos, and a lot of similar videos to the type of videos that I make on this channel. I wanna say this is not a hate video whatsoever. I just wanna share my own personal opinions on what Fledge Fitness has to say in this response video that he made called Extreme Intermittent Fasting, Eat Whatever You Want, question mark, Dr. Oz Show Reaction. So let's watch this together and I will pause when I feel it is necessary for me to do so and respond. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's watch this together and see what he has to say. <laughs> What is going on I have Warriors? It's your boy Edward V and today we're just going to talk about this video. I think it's a, it, it's a, it's pretty important. One, it puts intermittent fasting in a spotlight which is amazing, which is great, but also- Yeah, which is really, really, really great because it really needs to get out there to the masses because it has so many amazing health benefits holistically. So a lot of people out there, a lot of people who have commented on my videos have mentioned this person. I think his Instagram is Blake201. People have said, well, he's the proof that you can eat whatever you want and you will still lose weight on intermittent fasting because he only eats one meal a day and his meals are massive. And once I saw this Dr. Oz special with Blake201, an Instagrammer, he has like I think almost for 500 uh, followers, 500,000 followers. I went on there and I saw all the different meals that he was eating and yeah, they are very massive looking uh, meals. But one thing that is definitely apparent from watching this Dr. Oz TV show is that he kind of outs himself, not that he was proclaiming that he could eat whatever he wants, but people were bestowing him as the person who eats whatever he wants and proves that with intermittent fasting, you don't need any caloric responsibility. Just yeah, well, he does state that in his Instagram videos and other places online where he shares his information, his videos and his photos. And yeah, he says that you can have a body like him, even if he in loads and loads of calories like shows on his Instagram, and his YouTube channel. Just eat and if, as long as it's one meal a day you're fine and this kind of messes a lot of people up because they'll see him and he has a lot of followers almost 500,000 followers they'll see him they'll see what he's doing and they'll be like oh I could just eat whatever I want I could just do whatever I want but if you watch the Dr. Oz show if you actually watch that part in Dr. Oz and it's on YouTube you can go ahead and watch it and I'll link the video down in the description you'll see yeah he'll eat like up to about 4,000 or so calories but he's one understanding the exact amount of calories that's in everything so it takes him a very long time to build these foods you're thinking as a normal person watching it oh he's eating 28 cheeseburgers that one cheeseburger that i get from like five guys or or wherever is extremely high in calories so if he's eating 28 of those kind of things then how much calories is he actually eating five thousand so even though you were eating a burger that was like about a thousand something and he's eating 28 that looks like that your mind is perceiving it like he's eating twenty eight thousand calories or thirty thousand calories but that's not the case he actually well, what I can say is from actually looking on his Instagram over the years and seeing all the things that he recommends, I never thought that he was eating like 28,000, 30,000 because he states specifically every single amount of macro 
nutrient intake that's in the food that he's consuming and the amount of calories as well. And Dr. Oz show says he eats around 5,000 where he normally eats around 4,000 or so, anywhere up to 8,000, but normally around four to 5,000 within one sitting. Actually cooks his own meals. And, and when you cook your own meal versus when you buy out, it is a drastic caloric difference. Buying out, they add so many different things to it. There's so many different stuff put into your food that increases the caloric intake to numbers that would normally not be the case but with blake's burgers he makes them from scratch so he's able to weigh the meat he's able to know every single item that's put in it any every single condiment you know the cheese he's able to know how much calories are coming from the cheese he's able to know how much calories are coming from the bread and then he has the ability to Make sure he gets low calorie versions of everything, which is what he actually says on the show. He says to the normal person watching it, they may think that I'm eating this a massive amount of calories, but in reality, I'm getting the low calorie versions of stuff. I'm doing this. I'm cooking my own food. I'm weighing every single ingredient. I'm putting it together. So he's constructing it to understand how much calories he's putting in there. And then another thing that's coming from that video is that he also is indicating that he works out aggressively he creates the illusion on his own he wants to say look at this big meal and have you to you know get that wow factor oh my god 28 burgers oh my god the biggest piece of slice in the world he wants you to to have those polarizing reactions but then he doesn't really tell you like you know i work out a lot he, he'll say it every once in a while but it'll you know it'll destroy the illusion if he consistently always says hey look i i, I work out and I, I burn off the calories so he doesn't give that illusion at all because if you're someone that watches his social media platforms, he's very honest and transparent. He does exercise on a regular basis. He tells you the amount of calories that he eats and other various detailed information that a lot of people that watch his content want to view and also here and yeah a lot of time he does use a lot of lower calorie versions of things that he adds to his food that he makes at home but then he's also consuming a lot of things that are very high in calories as well and the people that he coaches and helps he tells them to track their macros if they're not making their own food they will still take into consideration the amount of calories that they need and they will not go over the amount that he says so they can get the results that they want. So if they're eating out, they're obviously not going to eat as many, well, what should I say, as much quantity of food as he would be eating if you was actually going to be making your food at home rather than eating out. So one thing that was interesting is that he sleeps for like two hours and 30 minutes or something like that per day which I find to be insane. I have to have at least six hours, but you know, best case scenario, eight hours. I'm yeah, and I have to agree as well, it's really insane. I don't recommend that at all. Eating this amount of food can make you feel really good, but long term it may not be the best idea because a lot of the food he's eating is full of preservatives and additives and chemicals and unhealthy ingredients that are not health promoting really at all. All. And then on top of training very intensely and he's very, very busy and then not sleeping a lot, you're going to shorten your maximum lifespan like crazy. So I wouldn't recommend that at all. Assuming, and this is just me assuming, I don't have any 100% evidence about this, but if he sleeps that short amount, he's probably really doing multiple sessions per day um, in terms of burning calories to get an aggressive calorie burn every single day so that when he eats he's offsetting it or at least putting himself at a maintenance level so if his maintenance level is eating 3,000 calories that keeps him at maintenance then he goes out and burns like 2,000 calories in the morning aggressive cardio aggressive strength training and then he goes and burns like a thousand calories in the afternoon and then he does like another 1,000 calories in uh, right before you know during the, the night time and then he eats he says he eats really really late so he eats at one in the morning it is plausible that he's building these high caloric foods and then consistently working out throughout the day and that is his schedule which is why his schedule is so hectic he indicates that his schedule is so hectic and it's probably hectic because he's always trying to get in those workouts so that he is consistently burning a high high level of calories so they and what i have to say is he is saying specifically flex fitness himself 
that you cannot eat whatever you want and eat loads of calories, even if you're eating one meal a day because you need to be in a calorie deficit to actually lose fat. But I actually found myself when I was eating around three to 4,000 calories a day and only training three hours a week, literally three hours a week, that I was still losing excess body fat that I wanted to lose, even with eating that amount of calories and hardly training whatsoever. And I also found with a lot of people that I've coached and helped that they could do the same as well. It's not the case for everyone, but a lot of people can. And yeah, if anyone hasn't checked out Blake201's Instagram, I highly recommend that you check it out. And like Flex Fitness is saying, he doesn't eat that many calories whatsoever. But if you look here, in this meal, it had 6,000 calories, 310 grams of protein, 900 grams of carbs, and yeah, it's just a very, very calorie dense meal. So it's a bit of misinformation that he's saying that he doesn't eat very, very calorie dense food whatsoever. And yeah, as you can see, a lot of this food is not very healthy at all, but yeah, it works for him and he does um, what is known as flexible dieting, where you just take into consideration your macros and it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you're meeting your macro intake and not going over it, that's fine. And this meal has around 4,500 calories. And yeah, he just makes loads of really, really fun foods that a lot of people find really entertaining. And yeah, this is why he makes these types of videos for Instagram and YouTube and also the photos that he makes because it draws people in. It's really, really fun to watch. And then he makes huge things like cheeseburger, cheese fry tacos, 4,000 calories. And you can see him making it and he does these live on a regular basis. I'd recommend you check them out. But yeah, he may use a lot of like low calorie things, but then there's a lot of things that are really high Are they calorie. cheeseburgers? Are they pizzas? Are they tacos? What's up guys? Cheese fries, cheeseburger, taco time. Let's go. Buffalo wings. So yeah, you can see he's very, very insane and this is why a lot of people are drawn to him. And I'll put a link down below for his Instagram in case you're interested in it. And yeah, to give you a rough idea, the amount of calories I was eating when doing one meal a day and where I managed to drop around five pounds, well actually six pounds of weight within a short period of time. And combining one meal a day with this type of eating I'm about to show you, as you can see, I eat a lot of different foods. And I will skip through this rather than watch the whole thing because it's quite long berry soy yogurt smoothie and this has got strawberries blueberries bananas blackberries soy yogurt coconut syrup and coconut whipped cream and yeah i'm not sure how you meant to and yeah like i said it's got strawberries in there coconut syrup soy cream like so many different things that is very very calorie dense on its own and then next up in this meal is this cinnamon bun and this multi-colored cake, which is full of sugar and a lot of fatty other ingredients as well. And uh, yeah, here's some sort of cinnamon And yeah, this is very, very tasty. And then if we skip along after I eat that, then move on to this curry dish, which is full of coconut milk and a lot of starchy vegetables, including sweet potato, a lot of black rice and a lot of vegetables. So that is very calorie dense. Black rice, you've got rice berry, rice berry, oil, some sesame seeds and cabbage, and it's fine. And then after that, I still continue to eat. So the next dish is a vegan breakfast. All this food's vegan because I eat a vegan diet, but we've got vegan sausages there, vegan bacon, mushrooms, a lot of this is covered in oil. There's bread, tomatoes, some salad, baked beans, like various different things. We turned up. Vegan breakfast. I've never had a vegan breakfast. Oh, and also vegan butter, which I'm just holding up there. And there's some more vegan butter here as well. And then last but least is this Eaton a mess, which again is full of loads of sugar. It's very high in carbohydrates, it's very high in fat as well. And what I'd say, this was not a food challenge. This is how I ate most of the time. Almost all meals would have insane amounts of vegan ice cream and loads and loads and loads and loads of carbs. And I managed to still keep around an 8% body fat only with training around three hours a week. Oops, it looks like. Um, homemade strawberry sauce, fresh strawberries, coconut whipped cream, and cookie crumble. 
So as you can see, it's a really, really junk foodie meal. And yeah, I literally was then and for the whole time of doing one meal a day for seven months, eating so much junk food and still being able to sustain a very, very low body fat percentage. So I have to disagree from my own personal experience, just like Blake Horton's own personal experience that you can eat whatever you want and still have a low body fat percentage. You can eat a high caloric meal. But one thing that I want to stress is that it is not as high as you think it is and that he is doing some type of offsetting uh, situation. He didn't deny the fact that he was doing something that was offsetting those calorie numbers. And he says that he isn't necessarily in the amount of calories that you think he is, but I know the exact amount of calories that he's eating. And anyone that looks into it, like I mentioned earlier, knows the amount of calories he's eating. So it is just his own personal opinion and belief on how many calories he perceives a lot of people think that he is eating. But as I state on Dr. Ozzy's show, he eats around 5,000 calories a day, which is true. So they were not sharing misinformation as well. So where people would get that belief from that he's eating 28,000, 30,000 calories is beyond me. Because when presented by Dr. Oz, the doctors determining uh, the caloric intake of what you're taking in, and, and we were guessing that you burn you know this much i think it was like something like three thousand something calories and he just nodded he was like yeah and that's a lot of calories to be burning a, a day and i think he knows that but he you know he wants that polarizing element of how big his meals are so for him to keep on doing that he will have to keep on also offsetting the calories by burning them throughout the day and then eating at one in the morning he does have a very very good ability to eat a lot of food though in a single meal um so that is impressive on his part but i wanted to talk about this video because a lot of people think that calories just simply don't matter at all and i'll see comments like hey i did omad i did one meal a day and i was eating whatever i wanted you know for, for 30 days and and i gained weight well, i was doing whatever i wanted for 30 days and i didn't lose any weight the and like I said earlier on, some people can eat whatever they want and eat an abundance of calories of one meal a day from what I've seen with people that I've helped and coached around the world and people that I've spoke to that I haven't coached that have done this. And some of them do lose weight and some of them will gain weight. And this is not necessarily due to calorie intake. It can be due to being deficient in chromium vanadium, which is key for blood sugar regulation and insulin regulation. And also some people just have a lot more stress in their life. They're not sleeping as much as their body needs and various other factors which could actually be stopping them from getting the weight loss benefits that they're wanting to gain rather than the one meal a day diet stopping them from actually losing the excess body fat that they're looking to lose. And yes, it's very impressive. He's able to eat a lot of food and so am I, especially when it comes to junk food. I can eat so much more quantity of junk food in comparison to when I'm doing clean eating and not eating a lot of junk food and eating a lot of plant-based whole foods. So yeah, depending on what type of food you're eating, it will yeah, make a difference in how much you can eat in one sitting. The reason you didn't lose weight is not because intermittent fasting isn't working. Intermittent fasting works and it does wonders. You know, we have a lot of studies to, to back that up, but what you're doing is you're just trying to use intermittent fasting as a get out of jail free card to eat whatever you want and eat at whatever caloric surplus you want and just assume that it will somehow offset all those calories. And that is not the case. What and again, I have to completely disagree. And I talk about this in more detail in a video that I posted last night. So if you want to check that out, go and check it out by clicking the card link up above at the top of this video around here. Intermittent fasting does, and I reiterate this all the time, but I want to be very specific here, is that it helps you control calorie intake. That's one part of it. And then the other part that is very beneficial is that it tackles body fat storage aggressively. So you can lose weight by uh, you know burning off muscle tissue. You know, you have calories inside your body, like you have over a hundred thousand calories inside your skin, inside your body. 
and so many things carry calories in your body your body will take the calories from anywhere but if you want your body to have a higher level of focus or higher level of precision in utilizing body fat as the as the calorie that it uses then intermittent fasting does that by lowering your insulin and oxidizing fat and use utilizing fat as energy once your insulin goes down to baseline it'll use body fat as the energy source and that's what you want to do so yes intermittent fasting gives you a benefit but it isn't a eat whatever you want and it doesn't matter thing you have to have an idea of what you're eating you have to understand the range of where you are with your calories then that's the way that you ensure that you will be losing weight or maintaining your weight or whatever your goal is and again like you already know i completely disagree from what i've seen with a lot of people that i've coached with this and this is why a lot of people love we are meal a day because i've made so many videos on this saying you don't need to count your macros or calories whatsoever you can eat whatever food you want and the amount that you want but what i have to say is I do completely agree with what he was just saying with the benefits of intermittent fasting, but if you're someone that does want to get the quickest rate of burning fat as possible with one meal a day, obviously the less calories that you're eating, when you're stopping eating and you go into the fasted state, you're going to get into a fasted state a lot quicker and you're going to be in a state of burning a lot more body fat. So if you're someone that wants to get the quickest weight loss results possible, you can drop your calorie intake to achieve those results as quickly as you want, but it is not absolutely necessary. But for some people it is. And for some people, when they do one meal a day, which I have seen with multiple people that I've helped, and they're eating a very low amount of calories, they can lose weight, but what can also happen is their weight loss begins to stall because the body can start to panic and actually want to hold on to fat because it believes that it is not getting enough food on a regular basis. So it kicks in that survival mechanism to make you stall your fat loss progress. So some people can find when that happens and they actually increase their calories, they can actually continue to burn body fat and get down to the body fat percentage that they desire. One other thing that they touched on is that they looked at his um, blood work, um, just a few numbers they looked at. They didn't look at much, but all the numbers that they looked at were were good. Even though he's eating these kind of foods, they're, they're good. But like I said, he's eating healthier versions and for his salt intake, which is really high, his sodium intake, he's offsetting it with a high potassium intake. He is constructing his meals. So he he's, he's looking at all the macronutrients and he's looking at all those other things that come with the food and he's trying to balance himself as much as <laughs> And that makes me laugh. He's saying he's eating healthier alternatives and then like as we saw earlier look he's still eating like junk food pizzas and he's eating like all these different cereals i'm not even sure what cereal this is oh cinnamon crunch which is not healthy whatsoever it's got so many preservatives in it and additives and so many other chemicals and toxic ingredients so they're not very healthy at all in any way shape or form and I do talk about Blake on a regular basis, but I always do mention that, yeah, you can do what he's doing, but I would recommend trying to eat as much whole foods as you possibly can and try and not eat loads of these foods on a regular basis. Even though you can get away with it, it's not necessarily gonna be the best thing. And again, look, marshmallow fruity pebbles. How is this a healthier alternative? What is the healthier alternative? This is the unhealthiest alternative for cereal. So I don't know where he's getting that from. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But yeah, anyway, let's get back to the video. He can't. Dr. Oz actually uh, is is intrigued by intermittent fasting. You could tell he's a little you know giddy about it. He he enjoys the science, I guess, behind it, or he he's the emerging research. He's he's happy about what's happening with intermittent fasting. Uh, he he started talking to his audience, explaining how. You know, the studies are showing that if you take all these meals and put it into one meal or put it into a short time frame, that it, it'll it'll be beneficial for you in terms of burning body fat and even health. So that's pretty nice to see. 
uh, you know, on the big stage. As I said, the rise of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is getting to a high mainstream level. On that note, Dr. Oz, where you at? Ellen DeGeneres, somebody, come on. Call, call, call your boy. Call your boy Edward V. I, I would be ecstatic to be on one of these shows uh, talking about intermittent fasting. I don't know, people are getting called up to these talk shows, to these TV shows regarding intermittent fasting, but ain't nobody calling me. Nobody sent me <laughs> any emails. I would love to be on one of those shows. But anyways, let me go ahead and uh, put my patrons for my Patreon up on the screen. So yeah, that is the end of the video. And something else I want to mention, which he didn't talk about, is that Blake said on this video, where he was on Dr. Ozzy's show, where he's been interviewed about his one meal a day diet, that he stated in it that a lot of people think he eats really, really unhealthy foods, but he actually said the majority of his meals has a high percentage of vegetables in there. But if we look here, it's got a bit of lettuce, some tomato, yeah, he's got potato, but there's still a lot of white refined gluten dough here and there's a lot of sauce over it and meat. So yeah, there's a fair amount of vegetables in there, but there's not loads and loads and loads, like he says. And again, like here, these burgers that he's made. <laughs> oh yeah. Earlier because, oh yeah, check that cheese out. Check them out. Yeah, that is a lot of vegetables in there. I can't see any whatsoever. It's ham, eggs, and cheesy hash brown sandwiches. And yeah, you could just go on and on and on with this one. Again, with this one, like this cereal with the milk. Yep, no vegetables in there. Uh, the pizza, nope, it's cheese. There's meat. Oh, and he did say actually had a three pound salad of this one, which is there. So yeah, we'll let him have that one. But yeah, a few things that he said on that, maybe off of Instagram, he's doing certain things that he doesn't show you on Instagram. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll put a link down below for Fledge Fitness's YouTube channel and his video, the Dr. Oz's video as well. And yeah, like I said, I love Fledge Fitness's videos that he makes. He's a very amazing person that's sharing a lot of value information that helps a lot of people just like myself. And yeah, we just care about people and spreading good information that helps people get the body, the desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And yeah, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.